Hit the join button for dozens of secret discussion videos with our guests, updated monthly with a rapidly growing collection of valuable content. We're at Whole Foods. Now we're gonna film with a cell phone and we're live. So this is an experiment I have. Oh, you've been kicked out of Whole Foods for videos three times, guys, with John Meadows a couple times. When I was in college, I ate cans of tuna nice. and lettuce. This is a seven day meal prep for breakfast. So when I do my meal prep, I prep all my meals for the week. That includes breakfast and dinner. So for an entire week, I don't have to think about cooking anything. Right. The only thing I make is cups of tea. I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> All right, so how many ingredients is the breakfast meal prep? Pancake mix, gluten-free, little berries, oat milk, eggs, cinnamon. All right, let's get them and put them in the cart and show everybody. I'm, so gonna, sh I'm gonna show you right now. Yay! This is it? Yes. Ooh. For anyone who doesn't know, Whole Foods 365 store brand products are actually very good. Yeah, sponsor him. <laughs> Sit upon a tin code. I like this because it's I eat cream of rice for breakfast, right? Which is just creamed rice, which is basically rice. And this is organic rice flour, which means it's just floured rice. So it's just it's still rice. It's extra fine rice. Here you go. This is what you need. In the cart. In the cart. What? Next ingredient. And I'm gonna tell you something useful. You see what this says? Ceylon. Cinnamon. One of them raises liver enzymes, right? It's one of them is actually toxic for your kidneys. Oh Just shit! Regular cinnamon, right? Isn't technically cinnamon. It's actually a tree bark. Only Ceylon is actually real cinnamon. Doesn't matter if it's organic or not, unless you know you're into that. When I make this, I end up putting like a half a teaspoon per portion, which is a pretty significant amount of cinnamon. Uh, so you don't want to be consuming large amounts of cinnamon if it's gonna. You know, coumarin is the toxic ingredient contained in what is usually labeled as cinnamon, but not actually cinnamon. <laughs> One, two. Back double biceps, Sam. <laughs> Blueberries? Yes. Can you use raspberries for this recipe? Any berry. I wouldn't use dingleberries, um, but you could <laughs> use- Harvest on your own? <laughs> <laughs> strawberries, raspberries. I just like them. And strawberries, obviously, I would have to slice, which is another step. These, I could just dump them in, which is cool. Oh, uh, okay. So, see, the thing, guys, is meal prep, for example, it's not just about how much time it saves you because you just pull it out of the fridge and eat it. You even also, making it. Even making it is something you want to focus on saving time on. Right, because if I want to make a whole week's worth of food in one day, you know, and preferably, like, within the time frame of a couple hours, I'm going to make it as efficient, that as efficient as possible. Three ingredients. You cook a chicken breast in the oven. Who cooks one chicken breast in the oven and then takes it out and cooks another chicken breast in the whole oven Fool over and over again? Foolish people. You cook a batch, right? So think about how that works out to everything you do in life, and it's gonna make you more efficient. So we're gonna batch process breakfast. Henry, Henry Ford, the Model T, right? The assembly line. How much can you do at one time? And when you're prepping stuff, the more that you're prepping of one thing at a time really is what boosts the efficiency. I mean, would it be nice to have chicken one meal, steak another, fish another, bison another? Okay, wonderful. But for efficiency's sake, that's a nightmare. So I eat th three of my meals each day are just chicken. Out of all the things people do that's the same thing every day, breakfast is the most common thing to eat the same every day. That makes sense. Eggs. eggs. I usually buy high quality eggs. I just spend the money on it. Like I'm gonna give you a really helpful hint right now. Absolute best eggs for your money. These, 365 pasture raised. Are you sponsored? I know you would think I was. And at 4.79 a dozen, which don't get me wrong, you could find cheaper eggs, but in this category of pasture raised eggs, I mean, this is a comparable brand, right? And I've used these before, they're not as good. Oh really? Not, not as good. And those that's are seven bucks. That's what I usually buy. You smoke them. I could have been saving three dollars per dozen for like what two years now. That's like that's like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, but I owe you some money. I'm his financial advisor, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. There's a reason I only do six days instead of seven. Why? Because the pans that I use are enough to hold exactly two servings. So if I wanted to do the odd seventh day. I would put it in the pan, it would be like a different thick, I know this sounds weird, but I also, on the seventh day, I also like to have like a different breakfast. So one day a week I'll have just like eggs, a bagel for six days, that's seven eggs per day is 42 eggs, which is... 42 eggs. 42 eggs. Oh man, Evan's a heavy egg eater. So we need four dozen. 
So oat milk is uh, an interesting choice, right? Because they have almond milk, they have walnut milk, which is even harder to find than oat milk. But there is oat milk, there's normal milk, there's so many types of milk, there's flax milk. Why oat milk? Honestly, it tastes the best. It's rich and, I don't know, it just works really well. And you actually, as a side tip, find it goes very good in tea. Works perfect in tea. Beautiful. <laughs> We're good. good. How you doing? I'm not allowed to film in stores, but it's okay. Just like the other three Whole Foods videos that we got kicked out of the store for, we have finished the video right before we got kicked out. Yep. So here are the five final ingredients. five ingredients for the uh, six day meal prep. Yay. So on to the next part of this, which is actually making it. Yes, yep. let's go. All right, we did get kicked out of Whole Foods, but we're not getting kicked out of your kitchen, are we? Now we have the five ingredients here, and we have a, what is this called, a whisk? A stand mixer. Nobody has one of these, so what's the alternative? You could just get a nice big bowl and a, a hand whisk and- And wear yourself and, out and work, and work your forearms. There you go. My dad found this at the dunk. And it worked. He showed up one day and he's like, check this out. Okay. Like, Damn, someone threw that out? He's like, yeah, you'd be amazed what people throw out. One man's trash is literally another man's stand mixer. <laughs> this would be beautiful. I'm gonna have your, have your assistants in this. Oh, you have a sous chef. Do it on here. There's yeah. one thing I have found is little bits of shell, or massive bits of shell, <laughs> <laughs> end up in there. You end up with one piece that has a bunch of little tiny pieces of broken shell, and it's not so appetizing. Maybe it's good for you. Franco Colombo, I think, used to eat the egg with the shell. No, 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 no. It's just a little bit of texture. Terrible. Funny way of bonding with a friend. <laughs> Juju, come over and scratch the legs. <laughs> would, it, would it be weird if I stood behind you like the movie Ghost? <laughs> yes. And put your hands, my hands on yours, and we cracked them together? <laughs> Why don't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Ton of eggs. A lot. That looks like some aliens thing, dude. That's so what I do is just by hand, I go in and just kind of break these up a little bit because if I put it in the stand mixer like this, it'll have a tendency to want to go over the sides. That usually helps. Oh my God, is it gonna is it gonna jump out of it? Nope, I have it, dude. I, I've done this. I use these half. I think there's actually technically a quarter sheet pan. Volrath, right? They make a lot of commercial grade kitchen equipment. These are like 10 years old and they work flawlessly. One day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day. Correct. If you guys can picture it in your head, Correct. six days, each day is half of a... This is looking good. Turn this off. I guess wow, technically it could be impressive. five, but then most of it might stick to the pan. Or you just skip breakfast and have bulletproof coffee. So I understood that. Doesn't it like float at the top? It's or gross. No? It just makes it gross. It's just a slick, slick it's coffee. It's gross. Like, this is 365 gluten-free pancake mix. Doesn't have to be gluten-free. I don't have celiac disease. I don't need to eat gluten-free. However, I have found over the years, when it comes to carbohydrate consumption, if I stick to things like rice, potatoes, uh, oats. Perfect, because I, I like to eat rice. I, I do too. I typically avoid wheat for the most part, not because I'm afraid of it, but it just, I do better Easy with to rice. Easy to digest. Exactly. I'll have a sandwich, I'll have some bread, I'm okay with it. I'm exactly. Really, it's like, I'm not missing anything by having gluten-free rice flour over here. In so, this recipe. one of these packages, right, contains, so 32 grams of carbohydrates times 12. All right, well, this math is on the screen because Brian is faster than me, but. 64 grams of carbs from that mix. Now we're gonna also add blueberries to this, so those are gonna add an additional source of carbohydrates, but, you know, by the time it's said and done, I think it, and we'll, and we'll, we'll give you all the macro breakdown, but I think it ends up being like a two to one carb to protein ratio. Ooh, this is our salon. <laughs> and. I use a one half teaspoon times six. So each serving has a half teaspoon. So one, two, three, four, six. So did I add oat milk? How much oat milk are you adding to the whole thing? I only put one cup for the whole thing. And this is sweetened oat milk? Uh, I think it is sweetened, yes. Yes, one cup for the whole thing. Wow, okay. So I just kind of incorporate this a little bit by hand before I, now. You thought we were cutting it close before? Watch this. Oh yeah. How did this 
creation come about? Yeah, how did this happen? How did you invent this? Because as most bodybuilders, eggs are such a fundamental part of the diet and sometimes you end up with like a, in a love-hate relationship with them because you know nutritionally they're so superior. But like, you know, you go through, okay, I have them scramble for four months and then I'm having them over easy and then I'm gonna soft boil them and then at some point you're just like, oh my God, I hate eggs. Doing it this way, it's a way to eat eggs and like you kind of don't really feel like, I mean, did you feel like you were eating eggs this morning? Not really. No, you no, feel no. like you're eating like a, a shitty pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever looked at the back of a Walden's uh, sugar-free like syrup mixture? Um, you talk about ingredients. That's like, no, that's like ingredients uh, squared, dude. It's like that is that is calculus going on back there. Do I want calculus in my body and a sugar-free sweetener? This has blueberries. This is literally rice flour. This is yes. whole eggs. You know, at some point too, guys. You know, you got to think about this. Like I eat chicken. I eat my chicken plain. I'm not saying anybody has to eat their chicken plain. It's okay to eat chicken that tastes like chicken. Yeah. You know, it's not horrible, it's not that bad. You should look forward to your meals or at the very least, you shouldn't dread them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I mean, you have been making this breakfast for a while, so we may as well follow exactly what you I mean, that's how I do it. Feel free to modify it in any way which you deem necessary. Yeah. And I've just, through trial and error, realized that. You find a lot of kitchen aid products at the dump. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this, mixture. this, this was ladle. purchased new. This was not used. Okay, that would look like five full ladles. Four. Too. See, he, he, he's got his own method based on the tools that he uses. Correct. All you need to do, right, if this thing is full, you put one, put one, put one, and you keep going around until, you know. Yeah. And then there ends up being some leftover, which I just kind of pour into there. And then, just, you know, kind of distribute it. So sometimes too, you know, it's the middle of summer, it's hot, the AC is running. If I use the grill to cook chicken, I'll just leave it running and just pop these on there and basically use the grill as an oven. Dude, so, I just see bananas yeah. over there. I think bananas could go pretty good. Oh, bananas there. would be fantastic. Yeah, you do, like you said, you do raspberries, bananas, blueberries, which is what we're gonna Oh use yeah, here. and you guys, you know, you could put anything you want in these. Just spread these them out. nice, big, fat blueberries. What's interesting is a lot of people are you know, focus on their daily calories and stuff, but it really kind of averages out to a weekly thing that matters the most, you know what I mean? Because if you have, it's not like a, a refeed doesn't exist in a vacuum by itself one day a week. That, those calories care over the rest. This is what calories in, calories out is a long-term thing. So if you're, do, yep. if you're worried about like the difference between blueberries from one day to the other, dude, it doesn't matter if you're gonna be eating this every day of the week for, it's gonna even out. If you're that finely tuned of a machine, congratulations, right? Like. If you're at that point where that is of that much of a concern to you, you have to be really like far along. Like, you've got to be flex wheeler. You know what I mean? Like you, you've got to be incredible. Now is the hard part. Oh yeah. Can you get in the oven without spilling it? <laughs> oh. See. If you, it's a whole body exercise, that's the thing. Temperature, it's 400. Yep. And, geez, I, I've never actually timed it. If I had to guess, I'd probably say around 15 or so minutes. But I just watch. I'll time it. Yeah, good idea. It'll puff up. And sometimes you can tell in the middle it's still a little, like, like a little... Runny? Wet. Yeah, yeah, a little runny. So just until it's, like, you know, firmed up, then boom, pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that transition works, but... 26 minutes and 40 seconds, pop it open. We know it's done. Don't be alarmed. 400 degrees. Looks a little weird, right? Oh. It'll yeah. chill out. <laughs> Has no chill. It looks like a, I don't know, like a mattress. It's so funny you say that. I think like one of those foam cover things that you put, like the old school ones that you put on the mattress. But this will just kind of relax. Does it taste different when it's fresh, you think? Um, I don't know. I, I, I've never eaten it fresh because I'm always making it during the day for like the next morning. And they are ready to eat. You basically cut them in half and eat one each day. You can put them in separate containers so you can just grab it out and eat it. Why do you drive your car to work? 
but we've determined the number of macros and calories per serving. The whole thing has 5,497 calories with 299 grams of protein, 517 grams of carbs, and 223 grams of fat. And we even fat. Eat it in one meal. Eat it, eat it all at once, and you got a whole day's worth of food in, in <laughs> one, one prep. That's per meal, 916 calories, 50 grams of protein, 96 carbs, and 37 grams of fat, which is it's pretty, pretty balanced. It's pretty balanced. It's a pretty balanced macro diet. And again, like you, like we said, if you want to save costs, cut the blueberries out, throw in bananas. But hey, we just thought you could throw bananas in one, raspberries in another, blueberries in another, spinach in another, kale in another, <laughs> broccoli in another. I mean, you could you can you could mix and match so you don't have blueberries every day of the week. I mean, you started talking. I was thinking you could even have a savory one. Yeah. You could have the cheese in there, broccoli. Mm -hmm. That sounds terrible. That'd be like a quiche. Yeah. 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 Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> men, they, men, men don't eat quiche. Men, I I don't eat quiche. Exactly. So I don't even know. A quiche has a crust or something. So okay. so then what is this called? Man cakes. Man cakes. <laughs>